If you live in Metropolitan Manila and travel to school or work every day, you are exposed to the most serious problem humanity faces today. The deteriorating state of the environment. The deterioration has destabilized population and species, raising the specs of extinction for some and a lesser quality of life for survivors and their offspring. There is a dying river, an increasingly poisonous sky, an enormous amount of waste and declining quality of living. The putrid order of uncollected garbage hits you as you exit a gate, drawing your attention to the nearby trash can. What you find is a plastic bag full of decaying vegetables, a dead rat. Vegetables should be added to a compost pile, rats should be buried or burnt to also get rid of the lice that might jump into the hair of the children playing nearby. And plastics should be washed and recycled because they cannot decompose. The world's leading environmental problems. The depredation caused by industrial and transportation toxins and plastics in the ground. The defiling of the rivers and waterbeds by oil spills and acid rain. The dumping of urban waste as the polar ice caps melt. Sea levels rise and many lowland areas around the world are flooded as a result of these changes in global weather patterns. Flash floods, extreme snowstorms, and the spread of deserts. Overpopulation, the exhaustion of natural, non renewable resources such as oil, minerals, and fresh water. A disaster in waste management caused by people dumping excessive amounts of trash, including plastic, food packaging, and electronic waste in landfills and in the ocean. Some species have become extinct and the numbers of others have dwindled due to the destruction of a million-year-old ecosystems and the loss of biodiversity including the destruction of coral reefs and massive deforestation. Ocean acidity has increased by as much as 150% in the last 250 years due to the decrease of oxygen and increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere caused by deforestation. Depletion of the ozone layer which shields Earth from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays is a direct result of atmospheric Chlorofluorocarbons or CFCs. Toxic chemicals released by erupting volcanoes. Deadly acid rain brought on by the burning of fossil fuels. And enormous amounts of rotting vegetables lining landfills are being dumped on the streets. The contamination of lakes, rivers, and oceans caused by the seepage of industrial and municipal waste residues. Continued urban sprawl as the city grows into a megalopolis leads to the destruction of farmland, increased traffic congestion, and a pervasive smog cloud. Pandemic Waste contaminating drinking water Polluted environments providing breeding grounds for mosquitoes and disease carrying rodents and other forms of pollution all pose serious risks to public health. The introduction of genetically modified organisms in the food supply will cause a dramatic shift in the food distribution system. Many of these are caused by natural changes. Toxins released during volcanic eruptions cause global cooling. Kilauea has been spewing out twice as much sulfur dioxide gas as the dirtiest power plant in the continental United States. In 2001, a hazy layer of aerosol particles was produced due to the release of 15 million tons of sulfur dioxide from the eruption of Mount Minotubo. Man-made pollution In Saudi Arabia, sandstorms combined with combustion exhaust from topic and industrial waste has led the World Health Organization to declare Riyadh as one of the most polluted cities in the world. Coal fumes, 
coming out of industries and settling down in surrounding areas contaminated 20% of China's oil, with the rice lands in Hunan and Chuchu found to have heavy metals from the mines threatening the food supply. 94% of Nigeria's population is exposed to air pollution that the who warned as reaching dangerous levels. We can expect to see a fourfold increase in the number of aerosols and other gases released into the atmosphere from vehicles, the incineration of wood and garbage, the preparation of meals in homes and petrochemical facilities by the year 2030. People's health has been severely compromised. An archive article in the journal Scientific American named the police for contributing half a million of premature deaths each year at the cost of hundreds billions of dollars. In metropolitan Manila, 37% over 4 million people in the population lives in slum communities. Areas where the effects of urban environmental problems and threats of climate change are also most pronounced. Catching up these environmental problems are difficult to resolve because governments believe for their countries to become fully developed. They must be industrialized, urbanized, and inhabited by a robust middle class with access to the best of modern amenities. A developed society accordingly must have provision for poor jobs in the industrial sector, public transport system, and cheap food. Food depends countries free trade with other food producers. It also relies on a modernized agricultural sector. But how is environmental sustainability ensured while simultaneously addressing the development needs of poor countries? Climate change. Governments have their own environmental problems to deal with. But this state's ecological concerns have become worldwide due to global warming. Global warming is the result of billions of tons of carbon dioxide coming from coal burning power plants and transportation. Glaciers are melting every year since 2002, with Antarctica losing its 134 billion metric of ice. Combating global warming. The danger posed by global warming are finally being recognized by a greater number of nations following the 1992 United Nations Earth Summit where a framework convention for climate change was finalized. 192 countries signed the Kyoto Protocol in 1997 to reduce greenhouse gases. The protocol established goals but it was up to each country to figure out the best way to get there. The Paris Agreement which was negotiated by 195 countries in December 2015, is a follow-up treaty to the Kyoto Protocol. According to the scientific community's guidance, it aims to reduce the rate at which the average temperature of the Earth is rising. It was largely adopted as international law due to its emphasis on consensus building, though it remains unclear whether or not it will prove more effective than the Kyoto Protocol. However, social movements have had more success when they work together, applying pressure to their governments to address climate change. Immediately, people all over the world need to start organizing into coalitions like these. Social coalitions that include village associations, academics, the media, local and national governments, and even international aid agencies may be the only way to reverse this worsening situation at this time when governments still hesitate in fully committing to fight pollution and when international organizations still lack the power to enforce anti-pollution policies.